Hey guys, how are you? I'm going to little learn news actually today rather, sorry. So the news today about this guy who was creating a web framework with Rust. And as he say, states here, uh, the initial idea when starting with the project four months ago was to evaluate the front end and back end capabilities of Rust. Rust, a programming language mainly designed for systems programming. So anyway, so he goes into all the major changes, everything he's put into place, uh, yada, 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 yada. So why do I bring up this article? This is a, a situation where I've seen it before in other areas where people are reinventing the wheel unnecessarily. Now Rust was designed for a certain type of programming and they're 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 twisting it and doing what they need to do to be able to make it into a web development language the problem i see with this is that again it's a reinventing of the wheel for no real reasons i can't see maybe i'm missing something i can't see any significant advantage if any advantage of going through the trouble of creating yet another web framework for web application development Especially when you have Java, C Sharp, you have PHP, you have Python, uh, you have Ruby. You don't want to use Ruby. No, I'm just kidding. You have Ruby, uh, and it, there's others. There's Code Fusion if you're going to dig deep, and several others out there. And again, I question why create another one. <laughs> I guess for nerd exploration. If you want to do that, that's fine. That's cool. There's no no reason against that. It's just that I don't see any major problems with the leading frameworks that are out there now. Now, I could see an argument for creating a new framework if the current crop of frameworks were really lacking. But, in fact, they're really mature now and they're all very capable. Um, even Ruby. And so, mm, I don't know. That being said, I'd rather... Uh, be putting my time into um, into projects that are a bit more uh, I'm getting too much sun here I'd rather put my time into projects that uh, that require some uh, cutting edge development maybe an AI framework or maybe an AI engine or something rather than trying to fix a problem that isn't really there so this is not just a business this is not just a lesson in software development, it's a lesson in business. In business, the key businesses, the ones who really do well are the ones who figure out problems. That's why I always talk about uh, it's more important to have domain knowledge, knowledge of a particular industry, rather than to know another framework, rather than to know another language. Because this domain knowledge is going to give you the ability to have an insight into uh, where you might be able to solve a certain problem in uh, in that field. So that's a key component of that. So the reason I bring all this up, besides the obvious lessons, is that I know at some point, I, I think I've been asked, what do you think of Rust stuff for web application development? Well, I would say, don't use it. Don't use it unless for some strange reason you find in two, three years it's becoming insanely popular because it has some sort of capabilities, which I don't think will ever materialize. And the reason you don't want to use it is one technical nerd reason, the other reason is business. The technical nerd reason is because it doesn't offer any significant advantage, if any advantage, well now it's, it's not even ready for production according to that article. But when it comes out, I can guarantee you it will not offer any advantage or significant advantage over any of the other frameworks and languages and platforms that you, you can utilize to create web apps. So uh, what's the point of that? And then when you go into some niche tech like this, that doesn't do anything special, you're just going to be coding yourself into obscurity which is not very good if you're looking for jobs. In terms of uh, a company owner, myself, would I ever use some strange tech like this? Again, I would never even think about it unless it had some really significant advantage because you don't want to find yourself 
owning a web app written in some rarely used framework or language in that context. So then what happens? Your development cost just balloons because it's going to be very difficult to find other developers. So people are not going to be business owners who have any brains are not going to be at all interested in developing in Rust. Again, unless it has some significant, significant advantage, which I doubt it has. So what does that mean for you as a aspiring web developer? Should you learn it? I would say, no, no chance at all. I wouldn't even waste a second on it. Uh, better to learn Ruby. And because there's no jobs, I don't think there's going to be any jobs ever for it. I think that uh, I wouldn't use it to build my own apps because, again, try to find developers. It's going to be very difficult to find developers who are experienced in it. And unless it's a popular growing language, it has a really, um, a really strong uh, base, you're going to have a hard time getting developers to want to learn it in the first place. So you can find experienced developers, they can learn the whole Rust thing in a few days, way, way they go. But these same people are not going to want to learn it most, most likely because they're going, to waste, they're going to feel it's a waste of their time. Why should I learn this, this, this super niche thing that's going to take me nowhere? That's all they'll think. So yeah, it's uh, in every way you can, you can look at the whole Rust for web apps. Uh, situation it, it just it just doesn't look good it just doesn't look good I wouldn't do it so this this is the reasoning behind it again in this vlog what I try to do on my YouTube vlogs is to not just teach you coding and code but to teach you the, the way experienced web developers and developers think about things and the way that experienced web entrepreneurs SaaS owners think about these things because that will make you a better developer in the end which will mean you can make more money working for somebody or make more money as a freelancer or uh, more easily develop your own product, you know, and avoid the common pitfalls that I see out there. All right, I hope that helps. Bye-bye.